Hi everybody, this is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. And today's topic is going to be how to avoid rental scams. Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. And today we're gonna to talk about how to avoid rental scams. So let's look at the, uh, you know, the rental equation from both sides. You are either a tenant or you're a landlord. Um, both are wary about getting scammed. So let me tell you a story. As a tenant, um, a couple of years ago, I had a, uh, a, a potential tenant call me and say, you know, I, I saw this really great property that you have for lease online, and I saw that it was uh, listed for $1,500. This is a condo. I said, well, you know, what's weird is that property is actually listed for $2,000, not $1,500. Where did you see this property? She said, well, I saw it on Craigslist and I called the agent and the agent said it's $1,500. And I said, well, I'm the agent, you didn't call me uh, and it's certainly not $1,500, it's $2,000. So um, a lot of times what you're gonna see are scams on Craigslist or elsewhere where uh, the scammer will post an ad and pose as the listing agent, meet the uh, potential tenant at the property and then when they're ready to rent the place, they write a deposit check, maybe a first month's rent check out to that fake scammer. And they uh, take the money and they run. And then the tenant tries to move in and they're not getting keys or wondering what's going on. And then they realize they're in a scam. So if you want to avoid scams, number one, avoid Craigslist. Um, you know, most of the scams that happen are on Craigslist, so don't look there. There's a lot of really good reputable sites that you can use these days, like uh, Zillow. Rent.com, Hotpads, uh, Trulia, these places all have rental properties because they all pull data from the MLS and also homeowners oftentimes will post their lease properties directly on these websites. So that's a much better way to go. Also, before you write a cashier's check out to anybody, you might wanna ask your agent friend or a title company or even uh, there are some other third party websites where you can check the owner on title. So if the owner on title is John Smith, but you're writing a deposit check out to a different name, then you know that could be a scam. So just be careful, always uh, do your due diligence. So that, that's as a tenant. Now as a landlord, um, how do you avoid scams? There's definitely, uh, I mean, a couple years ago, again, I ran into the situation, which was the one and only time I've ever done it. So in our industry, it's very standard as a, as a landlord to accept a rental application from another agent. And usually that rental application is going to have the application itself, driver's license copy, a copy of their bank statement, credit score and report, and a few other items that we might need. Well, um, this one particular situation, everything looked on paper great. I actually knew the other agent. The other agent gathered all the documents and 99% of the time, that's how it's done. And uh, it wasn't until you know a couple days before move-in, uh, I, I, we decided to uh, you know, check a little bit more into, the, into their background and, um, and they gave us a copy of uh, their check, which we tried to deposit, but the check bounced. So we started looking into why did the deposit check bounce? And we called the, uh, their agent, they talked with the tenant and they had a whole bunch of reasons and excuses why it was bouncing. They were trying to get out of the current lease and get the deposit back to cover uh, their current deposit, but it, it just kind of wasn't adding up. So I ended up running their credit separately, figured out that that tenant's credit was absolutely horrible. He had actually uh, been evicted several times and he was uh, a professional rent scammer as a tenant. And what he did was provide fake and forged uh, credit score, report, bank statement, all that kind of stuff um, to landlords. And he would stay at a place for maybe six months at a time, get kicked out, move on to the next one and the next one. So as a landlord, what can you do to avoid these kinds of scams? Number one, never take personal checks, only take cashier's checks. And number two, don't, I mean, you can, you can kind of look at the documents that a 10 provides uh, on a superficial basis, but always make sure that you verify. So if they say they work at a certain employer, call the employer, verify with their HR department that they actually do work there. If they provide a credit score, that's great, but there are many credit score reporting agencies that landlords can use to independently verify the tenant's credit and, and their, uh, their report situation. So um, verify 
what you get. I mean, it's very rare to have a scammer that was, you know, less than 1% chance of that happening. But to avoid that uh, potential scenario happening, that's what you need to do. So always double check the documents that you're getting. Okay, so that is the topic today. If you would like me to cover anything else, just let me know. Just contact me at the phone number at the bottom of the screen or shoot me a text and I'll be happy to make another video for you. Again, this is Wayne Chang with Wayne Chang Real Estate Advisory. Have a great day. See you next time.